Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. I'm making a very short Sunday morning Bitcoin TA video to just give you a small update on what I'm seeing and what I'm seeing on the charts, also showing you three other really cool charts that I think you should see on this beautiful Sunday. I can't use uh, this arm, I think I have an infection in my shoulder we got some medicine here in mexico which is pretty easy you don't need any prescription prescription for any medicine in mexico uh, but still it's hurting so i'm moving this arm as less as po as less as possible guys short ta video so let's jump into the charts watch them till the end because they will be really cool one chart will amaze you really amaze you let's jump into the charts bam This is the four hour chart guys. On this four hour chart, you can see this thick red line over here. And um, that is the line, this one that I'm pointing now, that is the line of resistance at the moment. This is the one hour chart by the way, but I can also switch now to the four hour chart, sorry. Uh, but this is the one hour chart. So in the one hour chart, we can see that we are finding resistance over there. And then we go back and we try it again, resistance. And we try it again and again and again and almost retired again so this is resistance if i switch now to the four hour chart i hope my internet um, will take this as well yes you see it's the same on the four hour chart so in the four hour chart you can see there is resistance over there there is resistance over there and we now need to break that line i think it's very important for us to break that line so if we would break that line and then come down to the line again to 35k and then bounce that would be the reversal of this bearish trend if we don't break it if we go against it and again a little bit down and again we could visit again this 30k area one of these options is going to happen let's jump into the next chart i will keep it short guys bam because this is a very important chart <coughs> Let's go to the next chart, guys, because this is a very important chart as well. This one, bam. This one, bam. My bam doesn't work because my arm is hurt. <laughs> um, this was the weekly chart we have been talking about so uh, a lot, guys. We told you guys we need to close this weekly candle above the 21 EMA. This is this green line. It is important. But uh, if we close down below, does that mean that we see a bear market? I would say normally, like in 2017, when we closed the first time down below the green line, it turned into a bear market. But there is one week that I want to show you today. Like if we look here, that is the moment we closed down below the green line. You see it over there? I need to draw maybe, maybe here. There we closed down below uh, the line and then it became a bear market as you can see. But there was one time, and I'm comparing this bull run a little bit more to that bull run that it happened as well and it didn't turn to a bear market and that was in 2013 look what we found or what I found here maybe I have double personality maybe it's me and my me over there <laughs> but at that moment the 1st of July and uh, we closed the candle down below in 2013 we down below that 21 EMA and we can all see what happened after after closing that candle um, down below that 21 EMA over there we stayed below it a little bit and then we go, went above the green line again and then we had a huge bull run so this could be playing out if this would be playing out guys let's try to do it I will take the candle that closes down below Till the moment we start this run, because I don't think the run will be the same, so that would be this. Um, so this was the candle we closed down below, that would be that one. So if we would copy the 2013 move, the sideways move, that means that if this is the candle that was going to close down below it, it will take all the way till August 
that we will be hovering around that green line and go up a little bit. So if we go up with the same amount, we would even in August be already at 80k. But you can see we're not going to explode to the top directly. And that means if we are there to August, yes, we could see the same thing again that we see always that we reach the top in December over there. So then it means that from here in August, we could go in these few couple of months, so blah, 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 there to the top in December, you know? That is also something that can happen. I know this is all speculating, but I'm just trying to show you that if we close this weekly candle down below that green line, it is not like certain that the bull market is over. In 2017 it was, but in 2013 it wasn't. So that's a 50-50% chance that it's not over. Let's jump to the next chart. Really, really important chart. This one. Bam. Look. It seems to be, I just figured this out yesterday, that every time around the 25th in the last seven months, we dip. This there was around the 25th. It was The dip was on the 26th of November. Huge dip. I need to draw here. Huge dip. Then we get this one here. This is on the 22nd of December. I think that has to do because the 25th is Christmas. So the dip was a little bit earlier. Here, again, this is the 25th of January. Here, huge dip. This again is the 25th of February. Oh, shit, sorry. There. Um, here, 26th, 25th, 6th of February. Again, this huge dip. Here, it starts with this candle on the 25th and it goes all the way to the 28th. And that is how we can continue. Here, this is 25th of March. Huge dip. This is the 25th of April. Huge dip. Every time on around the 25th, we are bottoming out. Will we be bottoming out now on the 25th, the day before is my birthday, again? Will this be the bottom that we saw every time for the last seven months? Last, se ah, fuck it. Last seven months, guys. This is the last seven months. There is some kind of pattern that we bottom out every time around the 25th. Bottom, 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 bottom. Will this again be that bottom around the 25th? And if that is a pattern, will we then also copy the move after that bottom and that every time again was a move this move was from the bottom to the next bottom that was 33 percent can you see this yes you can why do you ask it you can see it you can see it on the screen did he stupid question um this move from the bottom here ah fuck it did he man 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 what are you doing um Sorry guys, this moves from the bottom here to there, the next bottom. So I'm not even calculating the top, that was 78%. But if we go to the next bottom, again, 33%. 33%. From this bottom over there to there, 55%. The top was even 90%. You can see this, 90% top from that bottom. And if we take the calculation again from this bottom, to that bottom again 16 percent and to the top 40 percent and that is how we continue from this bottom to the top was 26 percent and from this bottom to the top was 26 percent and from this bottom if this is the bottom if we take the 26 percent we go to 44k if we take an average 40 90 30 30 like an average of 50 percent let's say we make an average of 50 we could go back to 50k i find it a really strange chart but i needed to share that one with you guys let's jump into the next really cool charts that i also found for you another two charts and i need to do this one now bam my face is not in the screen as it appears maybe i need to make it a little bit smaller i'm trying to make as less edits today because you guys it's, i'm i'm really in pain fuck it shit um guys <coughs> this chart i found also somewhere on twitter um, i really liked it <coughs> it shows you the accumulation phase the manipulation phase and then the expansion accumulation phase manipulation drop 40 percent 
expansion and then again reaccumulation manipulation the drop again 40 percent will we again go into the expansion phase but now to 90,000 US dollar really cool chart that shows you also that it could go that way another cool chart BAM let's go to the rainbow 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 that's like the Dutch for rainbow if we look at the rainbow colors um, it's also really cool because the rainbow colors show you like red is extremely overbought you can see here in the top extremely overbought uh, overbought bullish neutral bearish oversold and extremely oversold we are now in the green area green area is neutral we still need to go if you copy 2017 and 2014 and 2013 uh, we still need to go to the um, orange area minimum over there which would be around 100k or the red area which would be above 100k so this move still needs to happen in my opinion um, before we go again um, before we go again back maybe to the bear time something like that guys so yes also this chart beautiful colors in the rainbow are telling um, that we are neutral we are not over uh, bought and we are not oversold at the moment so let's jump to the last chart bam because i also want to show you this is very important i saw as well and that's the last chart and i'm really going to stop i need some coffee and some ibuprofen again um, <laughs> this is um let's go from right to the left so 30 april 2011 that was the first one dollar move that first one dollar move ever in bitcoin yes there were, was a time that the one dollar move was a huge move that was in 2011 and that was the second high before the top so after this first one dollar move we went still hugely up in 2000 june in 2011 that was the first ten dollar move that one was at the bull cycle top as you can see so when we reached the top of the cycle it was the first ten dollar move then the first one hundred dollar move that one was in april 2013 after the single top in 2013 you know that is the top that was just described after that we got the 2014 huge top so this is this mini top that was the first one hundred dollar move the first thousand dollar move was in 2017 was on november 29 2017 so we have never seen a thousand dollar move like in one candle before the november 29th the top of the market was then in december 2017 so here this is the moment where we had the first thousand dollar move now guys today or a couple of days ago let's let's not be very specific we had the first ten thousand dollar move that was the candle that brought us back to 30k does this mean that if we look at 2017 that now that huge move to the top will be or if we look at 2013 then again here into in april 2000 uh, april 30 2011 also there guys um, a top a one dollar move just before we went hugely to the bull run so the only one that was a little bit different was this one I, uh, over here this one is the ten dollar move that was um, in June 2011, but that was also a move already earlier that year in April. And in 2013, yes, we had this move from the top, but also after that, 2014, we had this huge run. So in my opinion, the chance that this first time we have a $10,000 move is the starting signal of the acceleration of the last part of this huge bull run. Guys, that was really everything for today i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give the video on sunday morning a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to the comments please be aware of all the scammers down below the video they use my name they use the bitcoin family they use the logo but the only official comments is the bitcoin family logo with a gray area around our name guys thanks for watching and hopefully see you later today at a family video or not then tomorrow again on a beautiful TA video on Monday morning. See you later, guys.